What's going on everybody? Welcome to Python Leaco solution tutorial number 67 at Binary. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to um, visit nanlyblog.com. Go to projects here and lead code. Um, you can see all the tutorial and also you can vote for the questions for the lead code. Okay, so for this question, um, this, it is quite straightforward, I think. So it is just to do a binary um, adding. So for example, here is a is uh, 1, 1, and B is 1. Then first is 1 plus 1 equals to 0, and we have an F1. So that one will plus this one equals to 0, and we have another one that is 1 here. So there are two inputs one is A, the other is B, and they are both in string formats, and our output uh, is also in string format. So let's take a look to the algorithm. Let's assume um, our A is this string one, double one and b is, is string one so first of all um if our both um the length of both um input is not the same for example here on uh, the first is two and here's one the length so first of all we're going to append a zero before it so let's just do a very simple calculation on um, zero one so 1 plus 1 equals to 0, and we have a add 1 here. So add 1 um, plus 0 plus 1 equals to 0, and we have not add 1 here. Um, that, is, that is 0. So we are starting from the last um, character of each of both string. So um, here is also another table. Um, that is, if 0, 0, then um, here's a value, b value, and here's the result. Then it, it uh, returns to 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, 1, 0, uh, 1, and uh, 1, 1, 0. So this is actually a, we can use a binary, um, binary operator that is like this one. So what does this mean? It's actually if B is 1, for example, here's 1, then A will just get fleet. So from 1 to 0 and from 0 to 1, and if B is zero then a will just remain unchanged and with this we are able to do something so first of all uh, while both this these two um string are not empty so we are starting from the last um character if um both of them so we will first do a operator that is uh, do a procedure that is use uh a with this binary um, b, b, b coins, I think, um, operator. And um, we also have an add one parameter. Um, we first initialize it as false. So if uh, add one is false, then we just do this and append value to our result. If the add one is true, then we need to do it again. Since uh, after this, um, operation uh, if the L1 is for example it returns to 0 and if L1 is uh, true then we have to return to 1 so here we will uh, if L1 is true then we do this and after every iteration we also need to change our L1 value um, so if both of both of the um, character at that um, loop is 1 then it's absolutely uh, will return to or uh, will make at one equals to two. If uh, one of them is one, for example, one zero or zero one, and our previous at one value equals to two, then this will also uh, make the same mm, result to make our at one equals to true. Otherwise, we we'll just um, make at one equals to false. Last but not least. Um, at the very last, let me just erase all of this stuff. At the very, very last, uh, if our L1 value is true, for example, here, uh, here our L1 is true, then we have to append a um, another one here. So after we append all this um, string, sorry, not string, character to our, uh, for example, result, and we finish it, then we just um, reverse this result and um, we just um, 
uh, for since the result is actually a list, then we just after reversing, we transfer uh, from the uh, list into string. So let's take a look to the code. So um, here is our solution class, and this is our testing part. Um, so first of all, we can define a initializer, uh, initialize function. Well, self um, results. Well, I have to say that um, we can put the self result in this uh, add binary function, but um, here is just um, a neater way to solve this question. Um, so first of all, we have um, make both the length of both a and b the same. So if length a, for example, is greater than b, then uh, we will append several zero uh, in front of b. So b equals to, um, we can have an absolute function actually. Um, that is just easier. And uh, v times zero, that is how many zero um, plus b. And um, else if um, length b is greater than length a, then a equals to Here's a. So after we sort, um, we make the length of them both equal. Then we we'll do something. First is we introduce out one variable, and in this case, um, it is false. We first initialize it as false. Um, while both a and b, there are um, there's there are not a empty list. Sorry, an empty string. So we have several. Um, conditions if a um, minus one equals to one and um, well I think it would be better for us to um, first have our operator so self um, if at one So result we can append I that is our operator. So um, just remember that our binary operator we actually uh, need a integer format instead of string format. So later of course we'll transfer it to string. Uh, here just put it. Um, that is our a minus one. That is our last digit, and um, also int. Well, I think it's too messy. Um, I can make it neither. Uh, that is a minus one, and uh, our binary operator um, b minus one. So here we will return a either um, zero or one. So if at one, so if uh, we have at one, then we have to do another operator um, since. If we have at one, then if this two is zero, then we have to flip it to one. And if uh, this value returns to one, then we have to flip it to zero. And uh, since later, um, this is a string, um, sorry, this is a list with string in it. Later, uh, if you want to change this uh, string, th this list to string, then we have to use a string format. Um, else. We just um, um, as what it is, and um, next um, we are going to define whether uh, we have we need to have a add one or not. So um, if a minus one equals to one, and um, b minus one equals to one. So this is first case, or um, a minus one equals to one, um, yeah, or b 
minus 1 equals to 1 well I think um, yeah this will be better um so I will have another bracket here and um, our f1 equals to 2 then our f1 um, equals to 2 oh. <laughs> else L1 will return to boss. And after this loop, if L1 is true, then um, we'll append another stuff. Um, so, result append 1. And um, here I just missed something. Um, we need to delete the last, um, last, how to say, the last. Uh, character of that both uh, of both string a and b so a can just be <coughs> equals to a um that's from first to last last is the length of a and um, minus one also um b the similar procedure Um, last but not least, we just um, flip it. So, result um, flip is reverse it. Just join um, join itself. Result as um. Um, last but not least, we just return to this this value. Um, here A and B, and uh, here is solution. Um, I think it's probably like this: the run uh, file and y is to true. Please. Okay, um, it says, oh, here, self um, result equals to, um, here I think the problem here is B. Um, moreover, I think here the definition is not really good since we have already um, defined the self dot result um, as a empty list. So here I think it would be better if we just avoid this stuff and um, we have a new um, parameter here. And um, let's check it again. Okay, cool. So here is one um, zero zero. That is what exactly what we want. Uh, so here I have changed this A and B um, into another stuff. And here one zero one. Mm, one zero one zero one. Yeah, that is also true. So I think this question is quite straightforward and simple. Um, I hope. Uh, one thing here is you have to use, not have to use, but it will be much easier for you to use uh, the binary operator here. And um, yeah, I think this is the end of this question. So thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you in the next tutorial.